I'm Dan Gukin, author of these word books, and it's Mail Merge Week! <laughs> Mail Merge starts with the main document, which can be any document, specifically one that you want to use for a fill-in-the-blanks type of mail merge. Just start writing the document. First, I'll add a print date field, which is a topic I cover in another video. For the parts that will be replaced, I type in all caps. So for the recipient's address, I type first, last, address, see I'm typing in all caps, and so on. Now these are just placeholders, and I write them in all caps to ensure that I can find them later, but also to help build the recipient list as well as insert the fields. I'll continue writing the rest of the main document. When you're done crafting the main document, save it, just like you would any other document. Thank you, Save Fairy. Seriously, that's pretty much it. The next step involves using tools on the Mailings tab. Each of these items are geared toward the five-step mail merge process, and they pretty much fall into order, as I present in the last video, from left to right. You have the main document, recipients, fields, preview, and merge. The recipient list is the topic of tomorrow's video.